Stephanie Mosca. We're here in Austin, Texas at IT Expo West 2011. And I'm joined today by Tom Schaffron, CEO of Ubiquity. How are you today, Tom? I'm well, how are you? Good, thank you for joining us. So what exactly does Ubiquity do? We are a cloud service, an application platform that allows third parties, end users, um, integrators to develop apps to integrate devices, business processes, and uh, provide a single platform to pull together multiple vertical solutions. And you're using a lot of M2M technology. How does the company define M2M? It's interesting because we look at it as more in terms of process to process mm -hmm. versus purely machine to machine. So we're expanding the definition a little bit. And it, when you look at vertical solutions like energy management or security or fleet management, uh, you can tie those different vertical solutions together on top of one platform and then you're integrating processes together. You're leveraging the value of existing solutions and enhancing their value by tying with other solutions. So we look at it more like process to process as purely the machine to machine level. Okay, and speaking of platforms, can you talk about a little bit of the issues that um, Ubiqu Ubiquity solutions address with M2M? Sure, the primary uh, issue right now, in our opinion, on the M2M space is the complexity and cost to carry out solutions. So we are 100% focused on driving down the cost and uh, building in uh, infrastructure that reduce the complexity of building out applications and integrating processes in M2M. And so that's, from our perspective, the, the most difficult thing about M2M now in carrying it out and bringing it to the market is the complexity of tying these solutions together and the various skill sets required to do so. And so whatever we can do to abstract that out and simplify, that's what, that's what we focus on. And you do that with the cloud-based application? Exactly. Well, it's actually a hybrid uh, cloud. So you have the cloud, which stores applications, configurations, and all that uh, information that is required for a business process. But then we actually carry out the logic and the business processes in Ubiquity app servers that can be in the cloud or actually at facility. Okay. So talking about the ones that are in the cloud, how can developers benefit from cloud-based applications? Sure, with Ubiquity, what you're able to do is create an application, a script, uh, what we call a device profile, and you can share it with the community. So once something's done once, other people can leverage the work that you've done. And developers actually control and own their work. They can give it away for free, they can open source it, they can charge for it based on a service, they can control access. So Ubiquity has a pretty robust infrastructure that allows developers to control access to their work and can even uh, sell it on a subscription basis. So what's the difference between VCI and M2M? Well, M2M is effectively machine to machine, device to device. Uh, there's, there's obviously various definitions. Uh, people have their own opinion on what it is. Mobile to mobile. Uh, mobile to mobile, yeah. yeah there's, it's, it's an evolving term. It, Ten years ago it meant something different than it does today right. as the convergence is, is occurring. Uh, from our perspective with VCI, we view everything as a sensory input, whether it comes from a device, a business process, an application, or a person. We, we view everything as a sensory input into the system to then uh, distribute that information back out and control, command and control business processes or machines through the architecture. And we've definitely seen um, some businesses can be hesitant to adopt M2M technologies. What would you say are the main pros and cons of the technology? Well, in terms of uh, M2M, it's the complexity. Uh, there's also this aspect that uh, many solutions out there are proprietary or very focused on a vertical, solving a vertical need. And there's obvious value in uh, meeting those needs. For example, fleet management is a very valuable uh, tool that M2M is, is very popular in the M2M field. But it's very vertically focused and in some cases it locks people into a proprietary solution. And companies are hesitant from the perspective of making that decision to be locked into a proprietary solution. And think about the long term, how they're going to tie that solution into the rest of their business processes. And so some companies dive into it. Some companies like to understand the entire ecosystem and what they're getting into and what their long term cost is going to be and what the complexity of carrying out these uh, systems and integrating them with their existing infrastructure are going to be. Great. So you're obviously very well versed in the M2M space. Could you give our viewers maybe a couple of best practices on how they can utilize the tools as well? Yeah, I think one of the key points is when you're looking at getting into M2M and implementing an M2M solution 
is evaluating what your long-term cost is going to be and what the flexibility of the system is going to be. Uh, sometimes things look like they may be inexpensive, they solve an immediate need, but the long-term costs can be very high if you're locked into a proprietary solution or if the system doesn't have the flexibility to meet a business need later down the road. And so I, would, I think it's important for people to evaluate the flexibility of the platform that they choose, the system that they choose, as well as are they being locked into a, a proprietary hardware system that is going to limit their choices in the future and put them into a situation where they're at the mercy of the proprietary vendor. Great. Well, thank you so much for your input. Those are some great tips. And thank Absolutely. you so much for being on the show today, Tom. It was my pleasure. Thank you.